This video has been brought to you by DataVinci Analytics Agency. In this video, we are going to discuss the new kid in town, at least at the time of creation of this video, and that is Google Analytics Bloody 4. All right. So it's going to be a very, very simple video, or is it? <laughs> Let's find out. So before discussing further this topic, I want to set out the scope of this video, right? So what is the scope of this video? The scope is that we are going only to discuss the implementation of Google Analytics 4. We are not going to compare Universal Analytics, which can also be called Google Analytics 3 versus Google Analytics 4, all right? So let's address the elephant in the room first. So there are certain questions that are related to Google Analytics 4 uh, when people are going about implementing Google Analytics 4. So these are the common questions in my experience. So I have uh, found out uh, three questions which I'm going to address first. And the first one is that will you use your existing Google Analytics setup if you don't migrate to Google Analytics 4? And the answer is no. The next question that I keep uh, coming across is will upgrading to Google Analytics 4 transfer your historic universal analytics data to Google Analytics 4? And the answer is again no. Then is it mandatory to migrate to Google Analytics 4? And the answer is again no. All right. So having addressed these three questions, let's proceed ahead with Google Analytics 4 implementation if you want to still do this. All right. Again, I'm not going to discuss the benefits of Google Analytics 4 with uh, against uh, Universal Analytics and other things that would require a separate video, which I will also create. Before moving further, I would like to invite you to join our free group on Facebook. It's called the Digital Optimization League by DataVinci. It's a group dedicated to digital analytics updates like just uh, reporting and analytics, tag management updates, conversion rate optimization or data visualization. All right. So looking forward to meet you here. Okay, so now we are in Google Analytics. Okay, so if you want to add Google Analytics 4 property, right? So there are various ways to do that. Now, one of the ways uh, to do that is you need to go to the admin of your Google Analytics account if you have the access. And uh, if you have the relevant accesses, then you will see this option upgrade to Google Analytics 4. Now, this is something which is causing a lot of confusions because it seems uh, by reading this that if you click this option and follow the steps that come after this, then this particular property would get upgraded to Google Analytics 4 property. All right. So that is not the case over here. What would happen is that if you follow the instructions that uh, come after choosing upgrade to Google Analytics 4, then it will create a new property that will uh, exist parallelly with your uh, this property, which is already there. And as soon as you uh, decide upon creating this new property, then the new property would start collecting data from that point. It will not hold the data from the existing property, which I mentioned earlier as well. Right. So uh, don't get confused by reading this upgrade to uh, Google Analytics 4. It's not going to upgrade your existing property. It's just going to create a new property, an additional property, and that property would be Google Analytics 4. All right. So once you click on upgrade to GA4, you will see the screen. Okay. Now, if you click on get started, so you will be presented these three points. One, first one is uh, something that I've already covered that your original property would stay as is. This will just create a new additional property. All right. If you take this approach, that is, you are going to create a new Google Analytics 4 property by clicking on upgrade to GA4. So what it's going to do is that it's going to copy the basic settings from your existing analytics property. But uh, the other customizations that you have done, like your various conversions, audiences, events, etc., that you have to still create on your own manually. Okay. Now, uh, if you read this statement, then uh, reading by this, I can make out that in future, maybe Google is planning out to create options where you can directly migrate your uh, existing universal analytics property to Google Analytics uh, 4 property uh, automatically. Okay, so they are saying that more upgrade tools will come that will uh, help in migrating these configurations. So in future, it can happen that uh, your existing data from Universal Analytics 4, that existing property itself gets updated to uh, Google, Google Analytics 4. Uh, this will be based on the uh, reception from the end users. All right. Now, uh, this states activate enhanced uh, measurement. 
so this i'll cover in detail but uh, just uh, covering at a higher level so enhanced measurement so in google analytics 4 you can track a lot of things uh, automatically uh, for example if you have uh, youtube embedded videos on your page then the tracking or in the user interactions with those videos can automatically be triggered uh, be tracked so earlier it was the case that you had to customize your implementation be it using uh, directly using custom codes on the page or using google tag manager that you had to track these things but now with google analytics 4 if you use enhanced measurement then you can or track a lot of things automatically okay we'll discuss these things in uh, detail now this thing is uh, uh, in a way grayed out for me so I cannot use uh, this approach to uh, to create a new Google Analytics 4 property okay so uh, if you click on this thing learn why this will explain to you why but uh, uh, i will just present few points in in a slide to explain to you that why you cannot use this approach what are the scenarios in which you cannot use this approach to upgrade to google analytics 4 or create a new google analytics 4 property okay okay now there are various ways to install google analytics on any website right so the first one or the most common one i believe is using the tag manager you can also install the site using plugins on your website, right? So for example, if you're using Shopify, you're using uh, WordPress, you're using Wix. So depending on the kind of plugin that you are using, maybe using your CMS, you can directly install Google Analytics. Okay. Now the third way is where you install Google Analytics by placing the Google Analytics snippets directly on the site. So, uh, uh, I'm not sure whether you're aware of this or not, but uh, you get the snippets directly from Google Analytics account as well, right? These are like uh, uh, the uh, G tags which you can implement on your site. And uh, if you do this properly, then Google Analytics would be enabled for you. So uh, the option where you can upgrade to Google Analytics 4 directly from the admin console is only available for those properties which have been implemented using the Google Analytics snippets directly on the website. So it is not available for uh, Google Tag Manager. It is not available for uh, websites that might have used some kinds of uh, plugin. So the second case is like uh, it's subjective, but for for the third case where you have implemented google analytics using the snippets for those you can seamlessly uh, create a new google analytics 4 property by clicking on the checkbox uh, that uh, clicking on the option that i shared earlier all right so uh, let's see that in case you are using the other methods like uh, the tag manager or the plugin then how would you install google analytics 4 i have this feeling that you like the video why don't you subscribe so in my case, I'm using Google Tag Manager, okay? So what I can do is I can click on uh, create property, right? And here we have to put the name of the property. So I can put like uh, DataVinci GA4, right? And just choose the reporting time zone and uh, currency and other things, right? Now here you will see there is an option of show advanced options, okay? There is only just one option over here. And the option is that by default, they have disabled the Google Analytics uh, universal analytics property, right? So only if you enable this, then the property would be created as universal analytics 4 property. Otherwise, Google Analytics right now wants you to create a GA4 property only. And that uh, further gives indications that in future, they only want to have GA4 property and they might be giving some seamless options to migrate your existing accounts to GA4 properties. Okay, so uh, that uh, that is a separate topic. But uh, if you have done this step, you have provided uh, the name, you have provided the time zone, etc. If you click on next, okay, then you have to provide the other information. Now, this is uh, uh, more related to the size of your company and industry and other things uh, that you can uh, select over here. So let's do that. Okay, now here comes the interesting part. Now Google Analytics 4 was previously called app plus web property. Okay, so the basic objective of this property was that you can combine the data from both your apps as well as your websites, right? Now these things, the platforms are called data streams, right? So here you can choose your, uh, whether you want to create a stream for Android or iOS or web. And you can set them up in the future as well. So for now, we are going to set, set this up for web, okay? 
so here it's, it's very simple you have to provide the URL of your website okay now you remember that I mentioned something about enhanced measurement right uh, also let's let's put the name of the data stream so data Vinci website okay now here's that part so what would happen over here is that if you enable this option enhanced measurement then uh, by default you can track these things like page views scroll depths outbound clicks a site search video engagement and file downloads right so by default these things would get tracked for you you do not need to do any additional tracking for these right now you might question that why would i want to track all these uh, why would i not want to track all these so uh, why would someone disable this because this is a good feature you are getting this for free so why would someone uh, not enable this right the answer is that whenever you are doing any kind of additional tracking then it might affect the site performance uh, slightly and sometimes the tech teams or the uh, dev teams they might oppose any kind of additional tracking right so uh, that can be the case and it will also happen that uh, enabling these things uh, this might increase the server calls right so uh, if, if the server calls increase then obviously uh, the uh, the sampling rate increases because sampling depends on the total number of hits that you're sending to Google Analytics servers so it entirely depends on you what you want to track and what you do not want to track so in my case right now since it's a, a tutorial I'm enabling everything right otherwise I will not prefer to keep uh, uh, scroll depths because uh, uh, otherwise I'm using other tools like Hotjar uh, for tracking the user behavior or how the people are interacting with the site so I might skip scroll depths right but in this tutorial video we are going to keep everything on so let's save this and just click on create stream so the first part is done for us now this is the property ID of the new Google Analytics 4 that you have uh, created. So you can copy from here, right? Now I'll briefly cover the other things that are there on this page. So the first one is that you get two options where the first one is add a new on page tag. The second is use existing on page tag. So uh, it, it's very simple. You can uh, copy the global site tag, which I mentioned earlier as well that in case your previous uh, Google Analytics uh, implementation has been done by pasting such snippets on the site directly then you could have used uh, the upgrade to Google Analytics 4 uh, option as well and uh, uh, otherwise if you want to use Google Analytics uh, Google Tag Manager then uh, you can you can do that where you will create a new property and use this property ID to configure your tag manager for Google Analytics right if you have an existing page tag right then uh, uh, here are the options right you can go to uh, admin click on tracking info click on tracking code and you can add another global site tag so uh, so for example if there would have been a scenario where you were using this option then what you will do is that you will paste a code under this one so let's assume that this is for the old old uh, site old property then you will add another code under this one so your existing property will also exist and the new property will also exist right and uh, then the uh, if you are using google tag manager then it's simple you will use uh, this this uh, property id and create a new property id all right now the additional settings uh, this help you to further refine your uh, setup and gives you other things like measurement protocols uh, with which you can upload offline data or data from other tools right where you have not implemented google analytics uh, for directly for example you can send the data to google analytics uh, from your back and CRM which can send the order data to your Google Analytics so that you can uh, stitch the entire journey so uh, things like that right but these are right now not important if you want to just set up Google Analytics 4 so we'll skip this part I'll create uh, additional videos on uh, these parts right so for now just uh, copy this property ID and we will go to Google Tag Manager so we are now in Google Tag Manager just click on tags click on new click on tag configuration and here you have to select Google Analytics Google Analytics 4 configuration so here simply paste the uh, property ID that you selected earlier and uh, you can skip this part skip this part skip this part if you want a basic Google Analytics 4 setup right I will cover these part in detail in the coming videos 
all right the triggering is going to be very simple you would want to fire this particular pixel as soon as the page uh, loads right so the page view one is the one that fires the earliest uh, which is followed by dom ready which is followed by window loaded all right so just uh, call this uh, google analytics for page view tag and save this now if you preview this so we'll have a new tag assistant based uh, debugger and click on start right now you will see that uh, the page view trigger so which is the container loaded will have loaded google analytics 4 as well so google analytics 4 page view tag has been created and if you go to the site and open your uh, analytics debugger then you will see that there will be two analytics uh, page view calls so if i refresh this then you see that we have two now this is the new one and this is the old one right so both coexist happily together with each other like human beings should do so as everything look fine let's go ahead and publish this so you can put it as ga4 published basic page view tracking So it's time to check the Google Analytics 4 interface now. So I am now in the real time report section of Google Analytics 4 and as you can see that it looks different as compared to the universal analytics real time reports, right? So if we just go to the site and make some hits, right? Then as you can see that it's capturing my location properly. It's uh, showing my hits, it's showing my page titles, right? So uh, it's different compared to the universe real time reports that we see in universal analytics, but uh, we can validate right now for the scope of this video that Google Analytics 4 has been properly implemented for the basic tracking for the page view tracking and the data is now flowing into the Google Analytics 4 property. Okay. So now let's do a quick recap of what we covered in this video. So firstly, we learned that it is not compulsory to migrate to Google Analytics 4. Secondly, migration here means creating a new Google Analytics 4 property. New Google Analytics 4 property will not have data from your old Universal Analytics property. And the new Google Analytics 4 property and the old Universal Analytics property can coexist, right? If you have done a GTAG based implementation of your Universal Analytics, you can launch a new Google Analytics 4 property from the admin console itself. For non-GTAG based implementations, you need to create a new property and implement it using property ID through Google Tag Manager or equivalent methods. GA4 comes with optional enhanced trackings uh, that automatically track things like scroll depth, YouTube videos, etc. We need to create streams in Google Analytics 4 property for websites and apps. Basic page view tracking for Google Analytics 4 is similar to universal analytics tracking, right? So that's all folks, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Alright, wish you well, bye.